This is Elizabeth Griffin, the Black Romance Writer, and welcome back to my channel. I am excited. I am extremely excited about the new year. For those of you who may not know, the new year is my favorite holiday. Yes, I love Christmas. I truly enjoy Thanksgiving and some of the other holidays, but the new year has a special meaning for me, a special place in my heart. I believe that when you get to bring in the new year, you get to reset your life, you get to restart your life, you get to do things over, you get a remake, a redo. And for 2024, I have so many plans, so many things that I want to accomplish. In 2023, I was able to write ooh, about five novels and I use Kindle Vella. And I love that platform because it forces me to produce material quickly and efficiently. And um, it has trained me to write every day. But for 2024, I am going to be publishing one book a month for six months. So that means January, I'll be publishing. February, I'll be publishing a novel. March, April, May, and June. Now you may ask, what am I possibly publishing? Is this new material? No, it's not. These are the books that I have written on Kindle Vella in 2023. So I am going to make these novels, these six novels, available wide for wide distribution. That means I'm going to be using draft to digital to create ebooks, six of them, and to have them published and distributed throughout the world, within the states and outside of the states. I will also be creating a paperback version of these books. And I will be going out to street events and I will be promoting Gore Publications, The Black Romance Writer, which is me, and my platform and my different companies. So I'm excited about 2024. I also have plans on creating and printing and releasing my young adult line of books, the birthday series. I have been working on these books uh, for ooh, so many years, so many years. But now in 2024, I want to have an ebook version. I'm going to have an audiobook version and I'm going to have a paperback version. And I'm going to be doing this with my own finances. So I will be budgeting and I will be spending my money very carefully this year. And I will be trying to save as much money as possible because as I've expressed on other platforms and I will express it today, I am ready to retire. I am ready to move on to another stage in life. And I'm ready to produce as much material as possible because I want to create intellectual property for my children so that when I eventually pass on, they will have access to all of my intellectual property and they will be either able to expand on what I've written or to create different mediums for the things that I have written. An example would be for my book, Naira. Currently it is in paperback. It is also an audio book and an ebook, but who knows? My children may decide we want to do a television series or a, um, a YouTube series or some other type of um, streaming platform series. And I will be definitely okay with that. So what I like about creating one piece of material, one piece of writing, is that it can be transformed into so many, so many other types of medium. As I've mentioned, ebook, audiobook, paperback book, graphic novel a movie, a short miniseries. There's so much, so much, so much that we can do. 
Also, I don't know about you, but 2024, I want to also work on my mental health. I want to take classes. I want to uh, go to community college and uh, continue my studies in art because I am an artist and I do draw. And I think these classes, these art classes will allow me to express my thought and the things that are going on in my head in a visual uh, way or display as well as a written display. And I also would like to write young adult fiction and fiction for children. So my plate is full, but I'm excited and we have 365 days to accomplish a whole lot. We have 365 days to change our world, to make it better. And for me, I will be focusing on going to community college. I'm even thinking about, but I haven't committed myself to it, taking French. I am a little hesitant because I want my Spanish to be as fresh and as polished as possible. So I will be continuing my studies in Spanish, but I am considering taking French. Also, because the year is going to be so new and we have so much to do, we want to start off with a bang. That means January 1st. Yes, I will be saying Happy New Year's and I will be celebrating and I will be enjoying that day, but I also will be working on these projects, these written projects, and I will be continuing writing for Kindle Vella, which is the episodic platform for fiction and nonfiction writing. And the reason I want to stay on that platform and to write as much as possible and to create as much content as possible, because I don't know when Kindle Vella will be available worldwide. Right now, it is episodic fiction and nonfiction writing that Amazon has in the United States. So it is limited to United States readers and writers. But I am hoping that eventually it will go wide. And when it does, I will have a large catalog. I will have an extensive catalog. One thing I would also like to share with you is I have been writing, oh God, for over 40 years. I've been writing a long time. And in doing so, I'm always looking for an opportunity to uh, express and showcase my writing. And so for me, when I first heard about Kindle Vella, I said, okay, that's a new platform. Okay, so let's go over there and let's produce and let's create a lot of content because there are so many writers out here and we're all trying to get noticed. And it's difficult when certain markets are flooded. Like I believe the ebook market is flooded. It doesn't mean that there's not room for you to create stories and to break in and to be successful, but it is a lot of material being produced and published every day. That is why I am looking at audiobooks because there is a chance for a lot of growth and a lot of discovery in audiobooks. So in 2024, I will be doing a lot of marketing. I will be marketing my audiobooks because I have 11 under my belt so far and they are professionally narrated and they sound extremely good. They were done really well and I'm proud of them. So if you notice at the beginning of my video, you notice that I mentioned Spotify, you saw Audible, you saw Barnes and Nobles, Overdrive. These are places where my books are available. My audiobooks are available worldwide. However, I need to market them so that everyone knows. And once these audiobooks take off, I believe that will change my life and it will generate a nice source of income. I also will be focusing on marketing my ebooks and I believe the marketing of the audiobooks, uh, I can piggyback my ebooks off of that. So there is so much that I want to do in 2024 and I invite you to come along so that we can do it together because writing it's wonderful, it's amazing, it's exciting, but it also can be challenging and it also can be daunting. And at times you can become very discouraged because there'll be days when you feel like you haven't accomplished anything. But I'm always here to encourage you. I have over 3,200 videos on YouTube all about writing. You can look at my earlier work or you can look at my later work. And I'm trying to improve that platform. As you can see from this video, I have incorporated other types of um, 
material in my videos so that you get a visual as well as an audio of what I want to do. So until next time, I want to say Happy New Year!